270 positive COVID cases associated with CMU students, staff, and faculty since the return to campus. When you hear about all of these COVID cases that have popped up since students returned to class, how do you feel? No one is surprised. A lot of uh, folks on my team are not surprised. This is something we've been warning the administration about since mid-July. Emily Jones is with the hashtag not fired up for fall movement, a group who started a petition to have the university end its in-person classes. One life being touched by COVID is too many. One person possibly having permanent severe damage is too many. It's like the worst I told you so ever. I think we all knew this would happen, and that's exactly why the petition and the kind of movement began. The group feels their voices aren't being heard and is organizing a march for September 18th, not only to end in-person classes, but to bring attention to diversity issues. One of those was even just putting out a statement actively condemning racism and committing to mandated anti-racism training. It's about bringing groups of people from all over campus who's one main priorities that CMU is safe in all sorts of ways. They hope to bring positive change and ideally would like a meeting with administration to talk about it. Even an actual full statement from CMU, I mean, addressing the petition and the concerns, I think would be a start. I mean, because up until now, we've basically seen uh, across the board the same statement by CMU that they want to stay open, that there are students who want to stay open. A spokeswoman for CMU says their statement on the movement hasn't changed. They say a majority of their classes are either fully online or hybrid, and the safety and health of their students and staff are top priority. They'll continue to monitor positive cases. Scott Walchek, WDM TV5.